Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're going to be doing something very unusual. So Jeff Fu is the one that brought this to my attention. Um, and I saw it online and I went to their website and then I just asked them, hey, you know, would it be possible for me to try this? And, and the kind people, the kind people at Juicy Marbles sent me out um, evaluation tapes. And so what this is, the company's called Juicy Marbles and these are four filet mignon tender plant-based steaks. Yes, you heard me correctly. It is plant-based filet mignon. Now, I will say that they got the they got the look down to a science. I mean, it's it's like it, it has nice marbling to it. I mean, for all intents and purposes, you know, that looks like a filet mignon. Now, um, I am going to do just, I'm going to make it do really, really simple. So I'm just going to put it on the grill here. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on it. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm going to put a sauce on it. Um, I had thought, well, you know, sometimes uh, filet mignon has bacon wrapped around it, but what's the point of that, right? It, so, two things. One, it imparts the flavor of bacon to it, so you really can't tell what it tastes like. And two, you're kind of defeating the purpose of eating a, a plant-based uh, filet mignon by putting bacon around it, so I decided not to. Now, I would say that they are very uh, tongue-in-cheek. They, they have a great sense of humor, both on their website and in their, ma uh, in their packaging. So they say, in a world so painfully serious and yet so ridiculous, you know it was only a matter of time before a plant-based filet mignon would become a thing. And here it is in all its velvety tenderness, the crown jewel of the meat world, its royal meatness with luscious prime grade marbling ready to melt and unleash deep flavors by speaking to it gently with fire and salt. High in protein, high in B12, obviously vegan, uh, approved by Mr. Marbles, which apparently is a cat. So, way to prepare it, salt very lightly on both sides. We're gonna salt and pepper. Preheat a uh, nonstick pan, which is our pan here. Add oil of choice. Uh, obviously, you wanna stick with something vegan. Uh, so, I'm not gonna put butter on there. Again, the butter will flavor that. It will taste like butter. So, I just use canola oil, uh, because hopefully it won't impart that much flavor on it. Sizzle steaks on all sides until the crust becomes golden brown. Cook for eight minutes. Remove and serve the steaks. So, we're gonna do that. And uh, I won't let you watch for eight minutes while we cook the steak, but that's okay. Ingredients are water, soy protein powder. So it's important if you're allergic to soy. Also wheat if you're um, celiac. Uh, wheat protein, isolate, sunflower oil, natural flavors, beetroot powder, I guess that's for the color, thickener, carrageenan, uh, which is made from seaweed, I believe, emulsifier, methyl cellulose, salt, yeast extract, iron, and vitamin B12. That actually sounds like it's got good stuff in it for you. It's not, it doesn't sound too chemically. So, um, yeah, on their website, the way they make it sounds interesting. It says, we don't print meat, nor do we grow it in a lab. With the power of thunder and universal love, we forged a massive machine in the depths of the lush forest within the country, which gave birth to Luka Donkic, Donsic and Slavov, I can't pronounce that. Needomatic 9000 is what we called it due to lack of imagination at the time. At last, alas, with this powerful force of goodness and niceness, it layers proteins into linear fibers, mimicking muscle structures. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, this, this to me, uh, this just sounds like it's gonna be really good. So uh, let me, without, with further ado, don't, which is without further ado, let me get one of these on the grill. Okay, the color's a little bit different on the side, but um, see you back in eight minutes. All right, looks like we're about done. And it's, it had a nice sizzle on the grill. Looking at it, it looks like a little bit of the fiber kind of peeled off. So it definitely has a meat fiber. It looks really marbled. It cooks up a little bit differently than a filet mignon. I mean, it looks a little bit different as it's cooking. Uh, seems a little bit more solid. Now, it's called Juicy Marbles because apparently it's juicy and apparently it's marbled, which it still is. I didn't see like a lot of, you know, fat or anything come out of it. So maybe it's on the inside, but here we are. Uh, actually looks like a decent, you know, filet. All right, so here we go. So I am going to, let's just cut a piece. Let's, let's cut the middle of that, see what that looks like. Okay, it kind of falls apart. It, it's almost, to me, the fiber is almost like, you know, a brisket. It looks almost like a, like a brisket or a pulled, you know, pork, um, more so than a filet. Uh, but it does look meaty. And, and th the thing they tell you is not to overcook it, right? You don't want this well done. They don't want you to overcook it and everything. Um, it looks meaty, that's for sure. Let's cut a piece and let's try it. It's, when, I, when I put the knife through it, it just kind of, the fiber kind of breaks apart and it 
doesn't really, you know, when it when it comes apart like that, it doesn't really look like filet mignon. But it sure as hell does look meaty. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, that looks like meat. Mmm. It is a lot juicier than it looks. So there's that sear on the outside. The inside is tender and juicy. No. It doesn't taste like meat. Certainly not like beef. But, you know, the, the thing is, it's plant-based, right? So I'm not, I'm not expecting it to, really. I'm not gonna judge it against that. I'm not gonna say it doesn't taste like beef, thumbs down. I'm not gonna do that at all. To me, it just, to me, it should be a good eating experience. Because if this is gonna be something that is going to substitute for eating meat, you know, you should have the same, close to the same experience. But to me, actually to be different, to be a little bit different and be, be interesting, change it up, you know. I don't want an imitation that tastes exactly like what it's imitating. If I'm gonna do that, I'll eat what, what it's imitating. I like something to be a little bit different. It definitely has a meaty texture. I can't say that it's like, to me, a filet mignon texture. It definitely has plant-based flavor to it, but it's savory and it's satisfying you. So now here's the thing. If you were to go out and get this, right? And you were expecting this to taste exactly like a filet mignon, you're going to be disappointed, right? It does not taste like a filet mignon. However, it is tasty. It does really taste good. It has a very unusual taste. Again, it's that plant-based taste. Um, you just really can't, you know, make a plant taste like meat. You can make it savory, but you can't make it taste like meat. So it has a plant-based taste, but it's not, it's not um, something that's just like obvious. I don't know how to say that. It tastes like a meat, a, some kind of meat. It has a really nice texture. It's tender. It has some chewiness to it. it the, the fiber is really nice to it. I mean. There's, this is really good. So on its own, which is how it should be judged anyways, on its own, I'm gonna give this a thumbs way up. It's really good. Again, it tastes like filet mignon. And the texture is different. But it's a good cut of meat. And I like the flavor. It's really interesting and unique. There's nothing, I can't find anything wrong with this. It's, re it's really, it's, it's really good. So, I would eat this to change things up, right? So, and if you're going to eat a filet mignon, and you say, oh, I'm gonna get this and, and substitute it, I wouldn't do that. But I would say is like, you say, maybe tonight I'm not gonna eat a red meat. What am I gonna eat? I'm gonna try one of these, try that. That's really good. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It's really good. You know, they call it a filet mignon, and maybe that's just a descriptive term under the, you know the size and the and the um, you know the cut. But to me, it doesn't taste like a beef filet mignon. Let's put it that way. Um, but still, it's good. So I'm not sure what the availability of this yet. Uh, again, I contacted the company, and they were very kind enough to uh, send me out a sample for free. So I'm not sure has it hit if it's hit the stores yet or not but when it does go out and try it it's, it's really good and to me like like i said to me it's changing things up it's not the ex i don't have that expectation of that it's going to taste like flame actually a beef filet mignon it changes it up the texture is really nice the flavor is really nice thumbs up so can't say anything more about that but uh when you go out there be careful because it's crazy out there so please take care of yourselves take care of others and we'll see you soon Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.